What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. If you're new here, my name is Joanna Carino and I currently make videos all about my pregnancy. I have a one month old now. He is like the love of our lives but I thought it would be really helpful today to do a video about all of the things that really helped me during the pregnancy just in hopes that it could probably help you what I'll do is link all of the items that I mentioned in the description below and if you're interested in looking at it you can feel free to click on the link so one of the first items that I bought the moment I knew that I was pregnant was the prenatal vitamins I decided after so much research to go with the nature made and as I'm still currently breastfeeding I'm still taking those prenatals every evening so once a night as well as taking the prenatal vitamins I was also taking vitamin C vitamin D3 and two different iron supplements this doesn't have to be taken by everybody it was just after having done some blood tests these were just things that I needed for my body for myself and baby during the pregnancy I also was trying to make sure that I was taking in as much protein as I could a lot of the time especially in the first trimester I really didn't eat a whole bunch due to nausea so I started taking in a protein powder milkshake thing i also tried to take protein bars but i really just don't like them so instead i started having some protein drinks i really can't remember the name of them but hubby will put a picture of them of course um, they were really good and i was able to take in that protein which is really good for baby's brain development also during pregnancy i was a little bit constipated and what really helped me was having prunes every day so just having maybe five or six prunes with some juice and I was also having every morning Weetabix with chia seeds it's just a fiber cereal which I'm pretty sure you can get any other fiber cereal this is just a cereal that I was brought up with in England and it is super expensive here in America but it was one of the ones that I really loved and throughout the whole pregnancy I really craved things from England or from Portugal. In the first trimester I was experiencing nausea a lot and it wasn't just the morning, sometimes it would last through the whole day, sometimes to the evening and what really helped me was having ginger ale. Also having crackers the moment I woke up, so literally the moment my eyes opened, having like one or two crackers, so just your regular plain crackers, really really helped. I noticed that if I didn't have anything the moment I woke up, I would just instantly feel sick. And towards now the ending of the pregnancy, because during my second trimester, I really didn't have any issues with nausea or anything like that or constipation so much. But towards the ending of the third trimester, I needed to start taking stuff to kind of help along with labor. And my midwife did recommend that I started taking these uh, tablets called 5W and like i said i will link it down below apparently it was you know supposed to help a lot with labor i felt like i went into labor pretty quickly i thought you know i was gonna go out until like 40 weeks 41 weeks but i didn't so that was really good so as well as taking the 5w tablets i also started having raspberry tea which is supposed to help with labor as well and my midwife ended up giving me a schedule on how many of those I should take a day so how many teas I should have a day for what week and how many tablets I needed to take of the 5w and for what week so what I'll do is list these here for you just in case you wanted to go by that schedule so that was all of the supplements food drinks kind of stuff that I I had throughout the pregnancy now I'm gonna kind of go into more of like you know loungewear clothing that really helped me and things like that so one of the biggest things that really helped me was having a waist belt this really helped once my stomach started feeling a lot more heavier i started getting a lot more lower back pain and i really tried to go for a daily walk which started off being daily and then it ended up being like maybe once or twice a week another thing that really helped was sports bras I am somebody that I absolutely hate wearing bras. I never really needed to, to be honest, because I had like, you know, itty bitty like 
um, mosquito bites so I didn't feel like I needed a bra but during pregnancy my breasts did get a little bit bigger and started feeling a lot heavier and wearing sport bras were really more helpful as compared to just wearing regular bras I don't know what it was about them they were just so comfortable I got mine from Target I think it was just like a pack of two that you could get so that's really handy and good for the price also throughout my pregnancy I don't feel like my stomach got a lot bigger um, as compared to was the ending so I didn't really get a lot of pregnancy clothing to be honest I got these sandals from Skechers they are literally as if you're walking on air they were perfect throughout pregnancy I really had a swollen feet sometimes I have really hot feet so the material of them was really good for me so I would definitely recommend that in this next section it's just a little bit of everything to be honest the first thing was having a mini fan on my work desk was super helpful something about pregnancy that even though I had the AC on I had the ceiling fan on I still was so boiling hot it also actually really helped drying my toenails um, during pregnancy especially when I got a lot heavier it became more difficult to do my toenails and once I had painted them um, I really needed something to just like help dry them quickly so I ended up using this fan to dry the nails one chair that was really helpful though throughout the pregnancy was the office chair and that one again my husband picked he looked online for office chairs that were great for pregnancies and this one is really supportive it has a lot of cushion on the bottom and the back you can tilt it as well so using that at home for when I worked at home was really really helpful I did try to buy a pillow to put on my chair the one that kind of like relieves any back pain but I don't know for some reason that was really uncomfortable for me and I didn't like it so what I ended up doing was just having one of these pillows that we sleep with put that on my back and that gave me that extra support when I wanted to sit up towards the ending of the pregnancy my midwife really did encourage me to use a yoga ball but I really struggled in the beginning to find my balance with it so I didn't use it so much once I started getting used to it finding my balance and rhythm it did really help there's quite a few different techniques that you can do such as rocking side to side and like going in a circle back and forward bouncing it's really helpful as well to kind of just lay your um, elbows on and just rock back and forth when you're having some back pain also throughout pregnancy I didn't have any stretch marks whatsoever and I really don't know if it was to do with the oil that I was using or if it's just to do with genetics I was using the bio oil I try to remember to use it in the morning time the, the moment I woke up and then before bed I also use the CeraVe moisturizing cream throughout the daytime if I felt um, a little bit dry on my stomach and my breasts I do have stretch marks now on my sides and on my breasts and like I say I don't really know if the bio oil really helped throughout the pregnancy because I ended up getting stretch marks anyway right up towards the ending even though I had used it throughout the whole pregnancy another thing that was really helpful was this um, I don't really know what it's called, but it's like a head massage brush thing. You guys can see it in the photo. This is something that my husband also got for me and I cannot tell you how relaxing it was. It's just like the little things that will make pregnancy so much nicer to deal with and I cannot tell you how comforting it was to just use this brush while I listen to like ASMR or like a YouTuber that I like watching and just kind of like relaxing, getting in my zone. That brush was just amazing another thing i really loved having in my pregnancy was a journal to just document everything um if you're someone like me who absolutely loves journaling then this is definitely a must have for you i had a journal and i also had a word document sort of thing i'll put up some examples of what they were but basically i wrote down um, little like bullet points of important dates so any um, prenatal appointments I had any blood tests I had ultrasounds um, any symptoms I had during the pregnancy any updates of the baby if the baby was moving a lot if he had his first kick um, if I experienced my first Braxton Hicks everything I had written down in this word document and then on my journal I kind of just made a journal that was all to do with Ethan so it was something that 
when he was older he can just look back and it has loads of pictures it has loads of different memories i also do have a different journal that was more personal um for me and my husband so that's you know something completely private that i really love and the last thing for i guess this section would be a trimmer um i don't know if you're someone like me that likes looking a bit more put together down there there was one time that I used the NAR hair removal cream and that was something that I've always used prior to pregnancy and I had absolutely no issue with. You just put it on, wait 10 minutes and kind of just like rub off the cream and it will remove the hair flawlessly. But during pregnancy, everything changes down there and I had no idea. Um, I think I put on the cream, it was less than 10 seconds honestly and I cannot tell you the burning sensation that I felt, it was the worst thing, it felt as if like I had a whole bunch of layers of skin removed and someone was taking sandpaper and just scraping it along, it was absolutely painful so yeah i don't know that's my little recommendation don't use nar hair removal cream because it's just super strong on your cooch it was definitely a nightmare to take off i tried to use baby wipes i tried to shower it off it was just absolutely the worst pain i had experienced prior to the ring of fire um so having my husband's bid trimmer to just trim that area was really really helpful now the last things that i'm going to mention that were really helpful throughout the pregnancy one was pregnancy classes. I took early home care classes, I took breastfeeding classes, and I also took childbirth classes. Sorry, I had to look at my phone because I couldn't remember what the other class was. It was just honestly so helpful. I felt I had a lot of knowledge with babies because I had worked in a daycare before, but honestly, after these classes, I just learned so much new things. Also during pregnancy, hubby and I took a CPR class and I felt that that was absolutely brilliant. We did a CPR class and first aid and I've done those before because of the work that I've done so I've done those quite a few times but this was hubby's first time in taking these classes and for me it was such a good refresher because I hadn't done these classes in so long and even though like I said I thought I knew everything about them no like things are always changing they're always like new techniques and things like that so I thought it was absolutely brilliant for us to know first aid and CPR especially on an infant so that was really helpful I would definitely think that with the pregnancy classes and a CPR and first aid they are such good investments if you're about to have a baby and then lastly there was two apps that really helped me throughout the pregnancy I used I don't really know if I'm pronouncing this right but Ovea, Ovea or something like that but I used that pregnancy app to just more or less write down all of my symptoms you can write down how much water you drank you can monitor the food that you're having there's just so many things your sleep loads of stuff and then lastly the one app that I absolutely hands down have loved from the beginning I still use it to this day is the what to expect app so they're really good at um, basically tracking baby's development so every week you'll see like new updates um, you'll see what size the baby is at whatever week you are what stuff he's developing on what is your body going through at that time what is the possible symptoms that you can have what is the up and coming um, appointments or tests that you're gonna going to experience so there's loads of different information on there that is helpful and my favorite part is the forum part so you'll see loads of different ladies um, putting out questions on there or just telling you different stories about what they've experienced asking for advice and that was something that I just found absolutely first beneficial informative and entertaining because there's some crazy stories that people, that ladies will post on there that literally, to this day, I would rather go on this app and read all these crazy stories instead of going on like Instagram, um, TikTok. I just, because they're just, they are absolutely entertaining, I'm telling you. So that is all of the things that really helped me throughout the pregnancy. I honestly don't think that there was a lot of stuff 
but like I said, the most important things for me were honestly the prenatal vitamins, the waist belt, and then the pregnancy classes and CPR and first aid classes. I hope you found this video really helpful. If you have any other recommendations or advice or items that really helped you throughout your pregnancy, please make sure to comment them down below. I would love to read them and it could also help someone else that's finding this video. And like I said before, a lot of these items really helped me, but then again, they might not work out for you. And that is something that you should speak with your OBGYN or your midwife or doctor or your mother or grandmother, whoever you can confide in because they might be able to suggest items that really help them that could also help you. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the lovely comments in the previous videos. I do really love reading them. And yeah, thank you guys for the support and encouragement. Bye guys.